It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Ernie Johnson welcoming you to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. Game three brings us our first change of scenery, but what hasn't changed are my colleagues. At home in any arena, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Hosting the series tonight in Houston, it will be the Rockets going up against the Chicago Bulls. And guys, for the Bulls, here in the finals, and they remain undefeated in this postseason, they're the undisputed favorites at this point. We'll see if they can continue their unbeaten streak. And an interesting one here tonight. Technically, this is not an elimination game. But, Kenny, for one team, it does seem kind of like a must-win, doesn't it? Well, I agree. It's not like it's day one of the NBA season where you've got a whole season to figure this out. you got to get it done right now, and it could be impossible to come back. you got to get this win and recapture momentum. Forget what he's talking about, Ernie. You need to treat this like an elimination game. There's only one way to come out and play dominant. Bring the light. Bring the fight. Bring it tonight. 100% focus, baby. Oh, man. You should put a beat under that. Yeah. Bring the light. Bring the fight. Bring it back tonight. Wow. Go ahead, Kenny. Okay. Bring the light. Bring the fight. And if you ain't here, bring it all tonight. 100% focus, y'all. <laughs> DJ Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Beat that, Kevin Harlan. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game three of the NBA Finals. The Bulls come into game three up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Rockets. The NBA postseason coming up next. start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA Playoff Action. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Houston Rockets. You look at Houston, they can't panic, but after losing the first two on the road, you know, there's no question they'll need a win tonight to regain some confidence and, and make make this a series yeah they were unable to steal a game on the road but now in this third game it's really do or die they need a win to keep their championship hopes alive now a chance courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go the starting five on the floor so for Chicago right now John and Wade they're the guards Chandler Parsons out there with Markinen, and it's DJ in at the five down low Long range from the inbound. That's good from Paul on the assist by Ariza. Paul's got his first three points of the game. Wade kicks to DJ. First 
shot first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And news coming out that DJ will be gracing the cover of NBA 2K19. I assume that is some sort of video game or something. <laughs> and that this is a big deal. But to be honest, Greg, I've never heard of it before. To be honest, it, it seems like that company has gotten a little desperate for attention if they are putting an undrafted player like DJ on their cover. The whole thing smells like a marketing stunt to me, partner. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Chris Paul did a nice job of using angles on that play. Got himself to the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Now the Bulls with it. Six-point game. They are bumped right now after a big win on Sunday. And you know, when everyone's working together, taking care of their roles, it just makes the game easier. You know what? We got to see what this offense is capable of. When they get into a rhythm, man, watch out. Here's Paul. After Chicago, picking up a basket just moments ago. And it's Houston with another. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Rockets on defense. Wade kicks to Parsons. There's a screen. Parsons sets a screen for Dunn. Parsons outside. Rocket six. DJ with it. Capella's there. This is when DJ's at his best, when he's playing with an aggressive mindset. Rockets have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Here's Capella. That one, no good. Nice D from DJ. The Bulls have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. And DJ throws it down. And guys, you don't think this fella can do some major damage if he gets an opening to the rim. GA, they just learned that lesson the hard way. They better <laughs> put a little bit more effort into their D the next time down. But the defense has to feel real embarrassed right now. They totally got school on that highlight real play. Now, DJ following Chris Paul's three-point attempt. Markinen kicks to Dunn. Wade from outside. And no good that time. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. There's the pass to Paul. Martin sets the pick for Paul. Harden outside. Here's Capella. That's tipped. And there's a certain art to blocking shots without fouling. DJ with perfect timing. Nobody near Parson. It's good. This game is all even. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Now we'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Mike D'Antoni. David. He was pretty upbeat when we spoke, especially considering his team is down two games in the finals. He explained his demeanor, saying everyone expected them to hold serve in their building. We feel we can do the same. We have to take three here at home, and then we'll be one game away from the NBA title when we go back to their arena. Well, confidence is not lacking on this sideline, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Here is Harden after the made shot from Chandler Parsons. And the wide-open shot from Paul. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And that's now 11 points for Chris Paul. There's a good screen. Wade dishes to DJ. Parsons for three. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Parsons with the easy release to drill home the three. Houston's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Harden gets to a reason. The feed now to Capella. Harden outside. Shot off the screen. That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. DJ with it, working on Anderson. This is the result of taking it up strong in the paint. DJ now going to the line. It's his first trip to the line. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Houston with a big group substitution here. Nene, he's checked in for Capella. Mbaamute comes in for Anderson. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Gordon subbed in for James Harden. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. 
Lopez is checked in for Markinen. Miritich comes in for Chandler Parsons. Wells is checked in for Dwayne Wade. And Levine subbed in for Chris Dunn. Yeah, good box out. Keeps him shielded off and then draws the over-the-back call. Over-eager to make a play. Got out of control. That's an unnecessary foul. Good ball movement here by the Bull. Wells kicks to DJ. Now Gordon. Passes it to Tucker. Nene, the screen. Gordon, the pass to Tucker. Five on the clock. Back to Baamuja. No good on the triple. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 13-5 run here. DJ with it. Nene on him. And DJ throws it down. Wow, and that's interesting about tonight. Different defenders have tried to work their magic against DJ, but to no avail. Nene with the screen on Levine. Trains the three-pointer. Tucker's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't tee him up on the perimeter. Here's Miritich. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. He dishes it to Tucker. Ball against Levine. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Bulls have gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. The dish to DJ. And DJ throws it down. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Paul kicks to Gordon. Shoots over Miritich and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, this is where he's inconsistent, and that can slow down your team's momentum. DJ with it, Nene on him, and DJ throws it down. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. And so it's Houston with it after the Bulls pick up two. Nene setting the pick for Paul. Inside, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. The Rockets have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Tarek Black, he's checked in for Mbaamute. And the Bulls making a change also. Simmons is checked in. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. They get the rebound. And Miritich kicks to DJ. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And DJ throws it down. How about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Here's Gordon looking for his first basket still in this. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. They set the pick. A three. No good that time. Well, that shot off. And so it's Chicago, bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. To our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? A huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively, been able to challenge multiple shots. Yeah, it's been the defense that has them out in front. But let's see if they can sustain the intensity. It's Paul and Gordon are the backward pair. Nene is out there with P.J. Tuck, and it's Black in at the five spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Oh, here's Gordon. Tuck 
Tucker with the ball. Now guarded by Miritich. Tucker dishes to Gordon. Hits it from three-point range. Gordon's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Rockets. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. From 10 feet out, that misses off the backboard. Well, if you're the coach, you're frustrated right now. That's exactly the look you're trying to get on offense. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, DJ in the last matchup against the Rockets was terrific. He had 41 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. A very solid stat line for him in what was a terrific outing. And you know he wants to keep the momentum going, Kevin. Great, David. Appreciate it. Well, he set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did, I mean, but we know he's going to try to raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. It's going to be tough. I'm sure the entire defensive game plan is centered around how to stop him. They're going to be all over him. Harden, no good. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And that one, good. Well, this is what every coach emphasizes. Keep your head up. Be willing to make the extra pass. Now here's Gordon. There's the pick. Pass to Anderson. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The first free throw is good. The Bulls making a switch here. Dunn's checked in. Both free throws good from Anderson. That's a huge advantage having a big guy who can shoot free throws like this. Now here's DJ. Guarded closely. Pass to Dunn. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Kicks to DJ. And it's in there. DJ's got 20 points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Harden sets the pick for Gordon. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. They set the pick out to the right wing. Holiday, no one around him. No good with the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Harden the pass to Anderson. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. The Bulls have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. DJ kicks to Holly. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. DJ number one. And the Rockets making a change here. Capella's checked in. Parsons checked in for Chicago. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Harden outside, overdone. Harden, no good. Boy, he loves that mid-range jumper. Just fails to create enough room to operate. Here's Markkinen, and he makes good on his first shot of the game. Markkinen's got his first two points. And I tell you what, Markkinen has already mastered the art of the bank shot. Loves getting it up there and knocking that one down. You have got to be in his space if you want to disrupt this rhythm. Leaves it issues to Anderson. Offline with his three. The Bulls leading by four. Parsons for three. It's good from long range. Parsons got eight. Parsons with a pretty jump shot. Rockets have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Screen by Capella. Gordon kicks to Capella. Back to Gordon. He feeds it to Capella. Dishes it to Harden. Shot clock at six to end the run. Got a piece of it. In transition, here come the Bulls. Parsons got the ball. 
There's Markkinen. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one. Rockets lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Zach, a hard-fought first half. Which... Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so whoop. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this Game 3. You look at DJ in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, and the fact he's posted a double-double with about half the game left to play, that's impressive. He's been one of, if not the hardest worker over the first two quarters. His tenacity has been the difference. So for Chicago right now, John and Wade, they're the guard set. Markinen is out there with DJ, and it's Parsons in at the three slot. Here is Paul. Green by Capella. Paul kicks to Capella. Harden outside. Over in the corner, Paul. Over, done. Paul can't get it to go. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting the mid-range jumper as well. Now here's Paul. 16 points for him. Over, done. Inside. Here's Capella. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist here tonight. Dropping dimes all night. He, he's been completely locked in. Unselfish basketball. That'll make you very popular amongst your teammates. And the shot goes in. DJ's got 24 points. That's all confidence right there. He knows he's in a groove, and they've got this team on its heels. Screen by Capella. Paul kicks to Capella. Feeds it to Hart. Launches a three. Sinks the triple. And the Rockets lead by two. And with Harden, it's Victor Borzi. Not only a tenacious penetrator, but also a consistent threat from three-point. DJ with it. Capella's there. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Wade against Harden. Ariza kicks to Capella. Capella with a screen on Wade. Excellent use of the screen. That's up. Harden's got five points so far. And that's three out of four now coming out of the break. The offense playing with a purpose. Now here's DJ. Defense right on him. Wade passes to DJ. Parsons outside. At the elbow, it's DJ. Uses the glass to finish the layup. DJ's got eight points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. That can happen when the energy gets turned up, the stakes gets raised. Bad miscue. Chicago making some changes. Justin Holiday comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Wells is subbed in for Dunn. Now here's DJ. And he has 28 points for the game. with the ball. Anderson outside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Seven points in the game. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. DJ dishes to Markinen. Good ball movement here by the Bull. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And right there, a little miscommunication on that pass. Beans check in for Parsons. Ball outside. He kicks it to Anderson. 
shoots the three. Kept alive by Houston. Capella, the pass to Harden. Back to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And just another example, Kevin, of how they built this lead just out working. Uh, Greg, that was definitely an effort play right there. You talk about that all the time, fighting to get proper position. Then slamming home the putback. Mm. Sure hustle and wheel out there. He wanted the ball more, and he went up and got it with some style. Houston making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. Now here's Capella. Screen by Capella. To the paint. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. DJ number one. Nene, he's checked in for the Rockets. Bulls trail by six. Now here's DJ. Outside, Levine gets the three-pointer to fall. Levine's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Paul with the screen for Gordon. Great D that time from DJ. For Chicago, they've gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Back to Levine, beyond the arc. Another three for Chicago. Good eyes to find the open man. DJ out there passing with a purpose. Paul kicks to Gordon. Lets it go with a three. And Chris Paul the bucket on the assist by Eric Gordon. And that's 19 points for Chris Paul. Bulls trail by three. And here is DJ. And he has 28 points for the game. Wells kicks to DJ. Outside Holiday drills it from outside. Holiday's got seven points. And that's from beyond, guys. Right back at you. This is looking more like an all-star game right now. Everyone launching from range. Gordon dishes to Nene. Gordon a screen. Paul for three. Paul missing again. The Bulls have gone seven of nine from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. And keep it up for the little fellow on the inside there. Great rebound, even though he had to really fight for it. Ariza outside. Back to Paul. Nene, the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Ariza goes in. Misses the lane. No hesitation. He took it right to the rack. But a quick reaction by the defense. That gives them the lead. Nine points in the game so far. Terrific pass. DJ allows the play to develop, then attacks at just the right time. They set the pick. Gordon kicks to Paul. Nailed from three-point land. Paul's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Rockets. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. And Bahamute's checked in for Houston. P.J. Tucker comes in for Trevor Ariza. Chicago also making some changes. Robin Lopez is checked in for Markkinen. Miritic comes in for Justin Holiday, And Jonathan Simmons subbed in for Well. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Miritic. And the shot is long. Chicago trailing here. 107 left to play here in the third. A three ball. Carries it from three-point range. Miritich has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Houston's gone 4 or 6 from three-point land since the start of the second half. Nene, the screen. Paul kicks to Nene. Gordon against Lopez. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. For Houston, they have shot five of eight from the foul line. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. Chicago has gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. DJ kicks to Simmons. And the Bulls, another three. 
great ball movement there. 35 seconds left to play in the third. Now Gordon. There's the screen. Ball outside. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Paul's got 25 points in the game. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. DJ with it. He's against Mbamute. And Simmons kicks to DJ. The pass to Miritich. DJ with it. Back to Miritich. Over Mbamute. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And listen, in a critical moment, this is the NBA Finals. The officials have to be 110% certain they've got the call right. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe than sorry. I think they did the right thing to take another look at it. And if it's so close that you can't tell by the naked eye, might as well go to the slow-mo. And so it's DJ making highlights for the Chicago Bulls. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Fred Hoiberg in a recent huddle with his players. All right, we've got to be strong with the ball now, okay? They're in there slapping, digging anytime we get that thing in the paint. Now Fred Hoiberg looking to fight fire. Man. With a big group substitution here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. Anderson comes in for Mba Amuta. Trevor Ariza's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Paul subbed in for Gordon. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. D.J. is checked in for Lopez. Arkanen comes in for Miritich. Parsons checked in for Jonathan Simmons. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Zach Levine. Filling out the wings, it's Harden and Ariza. Anderson is down low with Capella. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. The feed to Harden. Anderson with a screen for Harden. Just five to shoot. Hits the three-point pop. Harden's got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, you, you got your shooters and you have your scores, but James Harden is both. Out to Wade. Puts up a three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Oh, okay. It's on. Trading blows here from distance. You know what? Both sides are in rhythm. The defense out there having no effect. Paul passes to Harden. Capella with a screen on Wade. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. I love seeing Dunn use his creative side to get these calls. He is simply amazing at putting defenders in a tough spot. The free throw drops in for Dunn. And he makes both free throws. Here's Paul. Screen by Capella. Harden's shot is off. And you know they wanted that one to go down. They could have tied it up. That was a huge opportunity they missed. And that one is good from DJ. DJ's got four points now in the quarter. And that's one of those buckets we look back at the end of the game. That could be a difference maker. Wade against Harden. Passes it to Paul. To the paint. And stolen by DJ. by Harden. Harden's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He dishes it to Anderson. It's tipped. And how about marketing using his size and reach on defense? Great timing in terms of being able to get up and block shots. 
158 left in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Harden left side. And they get it. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Harden's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Houston. When Chris Paul has the ball, you have to be aware. He's a triple threat, but he loves passing it. with it. Capella's there. Battles through traffic and lays it in. 34 points for DJ. Rockets trail by six. Here's Paul. Harden outside. Off the pick. It's deflected. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Off target with the open look. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. Capello with the bucket. Huge play on the offensive glass there to get more second chance points. He's only getting more physical as this game wears on. You know what? That was perfect timing on that possession. Huge play in the game. They needed those points right now. John misses. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Some people have vision. Chris Paul has special vision on those passes. And the replay presented by Under Armour. Unleash chaos, giving us the chance to enjoy that alley-oop all over again. Well, that is NBA level right there. It's the way the game is supposed to be played. Guys competing at the highest level. Here's Chicago. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Wade dishes to DJ. It counts. And the foul. It's going to be on James Harden. And at the end of the game, anyone could end up with the ball. DJ makes the most of his opportunity. for the officials. Yeah, so many of these can go either way. Very difficult for the screener to stay 100% motionless. And that's an intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He drops the first one and that makes it a three-point lead. You know, watching DJ, he has that inner fire, a competitiveness that brings out the best in his game most of the time. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by four. 15 seconds left in the game. What's your take, guys? And this huddle up about two things, the quick shot and then the quick foul. And you're right. And if they do get the bucket, you love to foul someone who isn't automatic from the line. That would take good denial of the ball on the inbounds. Here's Anderson from the arc. Offensive rebound. Harden outside. Paul for three. And it's DJ with the rebound. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well, this is how you close out. Beautiful job. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by six. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. The three from Anderson. Reza. It's off. 
So the Bulls win it. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout the Kevin, thank you. Another double-double for you this year, points and rebounds. Now, is that something you're looking to do when you go out there? Well, you know, I try and come out and help the team get a win whenever I can. I, I know we're at our best when I'm, I'm cleaning up missed shots and, you know, finishing plays. And it's all about getting wins. And if a double-double is what it takes, then, you know, that's what I'll give to the team. Well, that's what it took tonight. Congrats on the win, guys. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. Now, for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.